This is a potato. Isn't it brilliant? A couple of these starchy tubers can easily feed a whole family. Well, a whole country in Ireland's case. They really are the most versatile vegetable. My mum, she, uh, she can boil them, she can roast them, she can mash them, she can chip them. When people come over, she can do these things with layers. But this all got me thinking. Potatoes are people. Now, I don't mean in the corny sense of a chip off the old block. Metaphorically, <laughs> your plain old boiled potato. What you see is what you get. He is holding nothing back. He's reliable. He's good for you. He's a little bit bland. The cornerstone of the Sunday lunch, the roast potato. This noble dish exudes strength, dependability, class. It's content in its appearance, but not arrogant. It's patient, quietly confident, waiting for its moment. These are the people you look forward to seeing. And now, the upper class potato. <laughs> the dauphin roi. <laughs> I mean, we all know that these people put themselves on a separate level, class themselves as the cream of the crop. But at the end of the day, all us normal potatoes, we all know they're just the same as us with a little bit of milk on top. <laughs> and how could we forget the rogue of the potato family, the bad influence, the chip? Parents often warn of the unhealthy consequences of any associations with those of the chip variety. Of course, we know they're bad for us, but they're just too irresistible. And finally, my favorite, good old mashed potato. An all-round nice guy. I mean, they just seem to reassure you whenever you feel a bit blur. Just like these people. A bowl of mashed potato is a friend to all. So I look around this room. I see a few boiled potatoes in the centre. A few dolphin wires along the side. And yes, I see a few chips on the top tier causing absolute mayhem. But if I were to ask you, what potato would you be? <laughs>